Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Wearing my dragon bodysuit. It's kind of old, it's a couple years old from Fashion Nova. And that's just what I felt guided to wear today. And it is that fiery energy of the dragon. It is year of the dragon per Chinese zodiac astrology. And who the energy is fiery. I can just feel that I got the chills. We're going to use my Crimson Secrets Oracle deck that I created. Past life. Oh, it gives off real Dracula vibes. Bram Stoker's Dracula. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. Told you that past life energy keeps coming up. So I did that past life reading a couple days ago. Imprinted tattoo. It would be imprinted. It is. I just got the chills again. It's so Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's, he's haunted by her. She's imprinted in his body, in his, in his soul, in his heart, right? Imprinted. It's, it's just, there's just no going back. It's like when you get a tattoo, this, even if you try and get the fucker removed, the skin will never be the same again. These two hearts, these two souls will never be the same again once they meet and cross paths. But it's that energy of like, I have been searching. I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you for a thousand years. Ooh, I love you for a thousand more. This is an ancient love story. This particular masculine, once he crossed paths with this feminine that he has been searching lifetimes for, he will become exactly like Bram Stoker's Dracula when he saw Winona Ryder in the street, remember? Remember when Gary um, Oldman saw her in the street? Was it Oldman or was it Olsen? Oldman, I think, I forget. Remember he just... Remember what he says to her too? He says it like mental telepathy. See me, see me now. She like fucking looks at him because their fucking souls are so connected. Now, vampires have this thing, right? Where they have this sort of magic and power and control over people. And, you know, but that's not necessarily what it was. He wasn't using necessarily his vampire senses and, and magic, if you will, to get that to happen. It was just because it, it was so intense. The eye contact, the, oh, there you are. Oh. Now, this is going to be the souls first, and the muggles will probably be unaware. So it's not like the motherfucker going to see you in the street and be all, see me, see me now. Oh my God, it's you, it's you, it's always been you. It doesn't work like that in the physical 3D. Now, in the 5D, yeah, sure, whatever, right? But no, not the 3D. So in the 3D, I don't think this has come together yet in the 3D, but it doesn't mean when they first saw you, they didn't in the 3D. Now, something tells me when they see you, if they've already saw you, it takes their breath away. Take my breath away. It just, <gasps> they gasp. They gasp. Yeah, infatuation. Absolutely, fucking lutely they become obsessed. And they don't know necessarily why they're obsessed. They don't know why they keep thinking about it, thinking about you, but you're, it's like the image of you, of you, you even your face maybe, I don't know, your voice, your laugh, your, your, your smile, your hair, whatever. It's like, in, it's like imprinted, it's ingrained in their memory. My God, I'm gonna have the chills nonstop. Late night communication because fucking, it would it be a reading using this deck if it didn't come out? Comes out every fucking time I touch this deck. 
because something significant is going to happen. Some sort of communication of significance is going to happen late at night because that's when the energy is the most ripe because the moon is out and it's dark and the stars are in the sky. And as you know, in the daytime when the sun is out and the birds are chirping and we're working and we're busy and people are going to the gym and they're cooking and they're washing clothes and they're wa watching TV, reading books, whatever, you're distracted. It's very hard to be distracted at night when the world is quiet and silent and all you're left alone with are your fucking thoughts. Now imagine you're left alone with your fucking thoughts with the world being silent and this imprintation, imprinting of someone is just burned into your fucking head, in your memory, in your mind. So when you close your eyes, all you can see is them. It's a haunting. Do I want that? Affection. I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting all like tongue tied. I'm sorry, I am. Ooh, I heard in my head, they've fallen. Someone's fallen. Isolation. This person tends to keep to themselves. You have self power, self love, girl power, and you have travel. The travel card comes up quite frequently as well. I can't even talk. I'm literally fucking tongue tied. Although Mercury is still in retro, I believe. And even when Mercury goes direct, it's still got that shadow period. And sometimes because Mercury rules communication, you guys know I can get very tongue tied and say things ass backwards. Now, self love here, first and foremost, is a feminine who's doing her shit, runner. She's not necessarily a runner, but she doesn't keep still, right? She's on the move, she's on the go. Some of you literally travel. And that kind of bothers them. If you travel a lot, it bothers them. They think you're going to be like how when Stella got a groove back in the movie. <laughs> that you can go to Jamaica and meet a Winston. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it bothers them. But this particular feminine is very independent. She loves the fuck out of herself. She's confident. She's secure with herself. And they might like it when you wear red lipstick. How ironic that today I felt the need to wear red lipstick. I posted an OOTD. If you're curious, go to my Instagram, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. People ask me all the time, well, what do you wear? What does the whole thing look like? What, 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 Bitch, I posted it. I've been trying to be more vigilant about it, but sometimes I forget. They might like when you wear red lipstick. Because it's sexy. But it reminds them of something. Yeah, look at the red lipstick in there too. Secret lover. They've secretly in their head made love to you several times. And it's not like a creepy fucker. Because look, he comes up divine masculine. He's not creepy. He's not Joe from you. Sexual encounter. I told you. They've, done, they've literally fucked you in their head several times. Several. Did I say several? There goes my nose getting itchy multiple times. Multiple. This particular masculine comes up at a higher vibration. He's more elevated. Doesn't give off any fuckboy vibes or anything like that. Um, this does give the energy of someone who's patient, but I get that they're patient and they're impatient. When they want something, they go and they get it. But this would be a person who moves with intention and strategy. It's like an emperor, right? They're strategic. So they don't just pounce. They pounce when they know the time is right or they know they'll scare away the prey. I told you, man, they, they have fantasized about you quite a few times. And when I tell you quite a few times, I mean quite a few, maybe nightly. Even when they're trying not to think about you, they've been thinking about you because you're burned in their fucking head, in their memory. You are literally imprinted in them. They close their eyes, all they see is you. And it infuriates them. Luscious. Mm. Yeah, maybe they think those lips are luscious. Maybe they think you're luscious. The energy is right. Told you, obsession with the infatuation. They are head over heels. 
They are infatuated. They are obsessed. This is just like fucking Bram Stoker's Dracula. When he sees Winona Ryder on the street, he's fucking... <gasps> and, and even if, like, the muggle wants to shake that off, how do you shake that off? You fucking can't. It's so intense. Look, intensity. It's an intensity here. Because it goes beyond logic. It goes beyond body. This is mind and soul, bitch. This is past life. This motherfucking has been going on a thousand years. Right? That's why it's so intense. Yeah, you got twin flame. I mean, it could very well be very twin flamey. And we've learned that lesson, haven't we? Especially with that girl power. That girl power card right there tells us that this particular feminine has learned a lot about the twin flame journey. That, you know, we learned a long time ago that we were trying to search for this love, this sacred union. And what we found was it was about falling in love with ourselves and doing the work and going down the fucking rabbit hole of spiritual evolution and of, of loving our fucking self. And only when we love ourselves that much and really, really, really implement that into our life and live a, a much more healed life. We don't accept crumbs and we're not out there fucking around and procrastinating and being lonely and needy. And uh. Only when you hit that pinnacle will you meet someone else on that same wavelength too, right? So it's like a match. It's like a pair. It's a pairing. It's like looking in a mirror. They're twins. Two peas in a pod. It's a mirror soul, which is what I prefer to call them. They're equally yoked. This person has a lot of the qualities that you're looking for and vice versa. You guys have literally the same qualities that, that the other has seeked. Pinky promise. That's what I fucking heard in my head. Pinky promise. Uh, bitch, I don't know what the fuck that's about, but I did get the chills. So I know it's got to be fucking significant. Pinky promise. Past lives. Shut the fuck up. It's not going to stop. It's not going to, because it's the energy. You have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past life. Past life soulmate. Yeah. The, the past life energy is so huge right now they might be it might be that too because they're realizing it holy fuck i think we had a past life together maybe they're stumbling on what that actually is and what that feels like right you know what i mean like maybe they finally googled it and they're like why would i feel so intensely connected to a stranger they go fucking google it and they go oh my god it could be a past life connection like it, it's there's so much happening right now in the freaking cosmos and the universe But a lot of the past life vows, pinky promises, if you will, are bubbling up right now. They're activating. It's like the red string of fate tied to the fucking finger. Overthinking. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. I think that both of you equally, because remember your mirrors, you both overthink. Express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. That's where they're at. They're at this place of overthinking, expressing how they really feel. They're nervous about that. They're nervous that it might not be reciprocated. Is it all in their head? Is this infatuation just them? Are, are, they, are, is it, are they making it up? That's like the word. They're, fuck me. Their worst case scenario in their own. Look, that, that was on the bottom of the deck. And then look, it's on the bottom of the deck again. They are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. I'm going to take it. Because I saw it and I wanted to take it. But I was like, ah, fuck it. Let it come out. Jesus, that fucking quantum leaped. Actions speak louder than words. That's why it quantum leaped. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. You know, so at the bottom of the deck, make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You're called to move forward. See, that's where they're at right now. 
they're feeling this energy of feeling this intuitiveness to reach out, to communicate, to make some sort of a move. But the overthinking keeps them stuck. I mean, I don't feel like this is a person that overthinks all romantic encounters. They don't. But this one's not like the rest. This is the one. They don't want to say the wrong thing, so sometimes they say nothing. And to them, they feel like that's a safe bet, although I have a feeling it's pushed quite a few of you away. Silence, right? You have separation, bottom of the deck. <sighs> There's been separation here. Radio silence. They just sometimes don't know what to say and they say nothing. And they think, okay, that's going to be the best option. That's safe. But it, it, it really ate them in the fucking ass in the end and not in a good way. What it did was it made the other person feel like they weren't interested. Because what the fuck else are you going to go by? They don't put action and effort. Because love is, a, is an action word. Can't just say you love someone and not do a goddamn thing about it. High Priestess, Secrets, Intuition, and Divine Feminine. Yeah, told you she learned her lesson. Told you she did. She loves the fuck out of herself and she won't accept crumbs. She's not waiting on nobody's ass. She's on the move. She's on the go. But this is the problem with the High Priestess. This is the problem with the high priestess is she is keeper of secrets. That means she's really mysterious and she doesn't show herself. She doesn't show herself. She doesn't, ex she doesn't, you know what I'm saying? She's very hard to read. So they find you very hard to read. High priestess is quite guarded, isn't she? And even if she walks into a room and she lights up the room and she shifts the energy in the room, there's still this huge part of her that's very guarded because, I mean, she is keeper of secrets. She's a fucking light keeper. She's a keeper of the light. She has this huge responsibility. And she walks different. She moves different. She speaks different. She thinks different. She loves different. They almost are so intimidated by how different you are because it's like, it's like learning a, a language you've never spoken before in your fucking life. What if you never knew how to dr drive a car and all of a sudden there's a car and someone's like, well, drive the car. And you're like, I don't know how to fucking drive a car. Drive a stick shift. You know how to drive a manual? Um, no. It's like they're trying to learn you. But you're not giving them much to go by. You know what I mean? You have the rainbow bottom of the deck of miracle, God's promise, and good luck. So a lot of you might be seeing rainbows or the rainbow is significant to some of you. It's really symbolic. But it's like fucking miracle. It is a miracle you found each other again in this particular vibration. Starry sky, infinite, cosmic, and galactic. I told you it's at nighttime when they think about you because it's just this overwhelmingness. Twilight. I heard twilight. The time of night is twilight. Let's look up the exact definition of that. We all know, oh, it's a movie with the vampires. Fucking duh. But like, it's something about twilight is that I want to say twilight's at midnight, bitch. I want to fucking say twilight is at midnight. Never mind. Twilight is the time of day when the sun illuminates the Earth's atmosphere. This is a time period between dawn and sunrise or between sunset and dusk. Bitch. It's before sunrise and after sunrise. I don't know why that's just like... I don't know, just because it gave me the chills reading it, bitch. It did. Motherfucker. 
I have died every day waiting for you. The chandelier, which symbolizes luxury and glamour and wealth. They might think that you are sitting pretty. They might think you're very glamorous, beautiful. You know, you might live a luxurious lifestyle. Maybe they do. Maybe some of you are destined for wealth or luxury, right? Something of that energy is coming up. This person could have a lot of fucking money. I feel like in a lot of the past lives, um, many of you had a lot of money. Magic, charming, enchanted, and bewitched. Yeah, through Taylor Swift, I was enchanted to meet you. They've been charmed. They've been bewitched, body, mind, soul, and I love, 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 love you. Mr. Darcy, Pride and Prejudice, you've bewitched them. They feel like they've been under a spell ever since. They've been sort of moody too. This person would be moody. See, you have alone, forlorn. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of moody. You know? It's 444 here in Hawaii. They're very moody. I think they're moody because of the sheer simple fact that they miss you. And they're in their feelings. And life is just not the same without you in it even if they've only like had casual encounters with you. It's like now that they know you exist and you've crossed paths with them, to not be with you all the time every day, it, there's this like sadness and this loneliness and like this darkness within them. They miss you. They think about you all the time. Remember you haunt them. You haunt them 24 seven. Your face, your voice, your laugh, it's, it's ingrained in their memory. aligned yeah it says on course and there you have the plane you know in order for a plane to land it has to align with the landing strip they're trying to figure out how to land this plane you know what i mean They're trying to figure out how to land this plane. For lack of a better way to put it. They're trying to figure out how to drive this stick shift. Never drove stick shift before. They're trying to figure out how to... <sighs> how to be with you. You think it's so easy, right? And we do. We do. We give them shit. We give them hell. We think it's so easy. Well, it is fucking easy. Just pick up the phone and fucking text me. Call me. I mean, would you do that with someone that you weren't even fucking possibly sure if they felt the same way about you? I can tell you right now, in this motherfucking vibration that I am in, loving the fuck out of myself, being happy, being alone, honey, I am living my best life. I'm not doing that. Not because I'm afraid to speak my truth. It's not about that. It's about read the room. <laughs> Sometimes you don't say things in that moment because it's not the right time or it's inappropriate. You gotta be more self-aware. The sun. You have awakened them. See, look at the king of swords. They've been very sort of business. Nonchalant in love, right? Very, that's just their energy. They're just closed off. The King of Swords would be someone who's very um, emotionally detached. Poker faced, not really looking for love. And it's as if like the sun, which is the card of an awakening, it's also the card of pure bliss. It's like they've encountered the sun. You've melted them, it's like Icarus getting too close to the sun. Every time they get so close to you, you melt them and they can't formulate thoughts and words. They've got to acclimate to this energy of you. They've got to literally like raise their vibration. You know what I'm saying? They've got to literally raise their vibration even more. But the sun is enlightenment. 
you've awakened them. You've awakened their heart. They're going to try their damnedest to continue this, but it's not going to work. This is why they keep coming up as the King of Swords in all of the, uh, the readings nonstop. They come up as King of Swords surfacy, but they're the King of Cups inside. They're just, they're, they're having the most hard, hardest fucking time making sense of it. Eight of Swords, overthinking. What you don't know is you both overthink each other at the same fucking time. Mirrors, remember? You literally overthink each other at the same fucking time. That overthinking card was for both of you. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that wheel's turning. Card of Destiny, Fate, Fortune, and Luck. But it's a cycle. A new cycle is about to start. King of Wands. Right, that's Kang Dangalang. That's, you know, somebody who's very fierce and courageous and brave. But he kind of looks like he's sitting there and almost biding his time. Clock's ticking. They've almost prayed like this that it, it, it goes away. Oh, please let it just pass. Oh, please let it just pass. It's just going to go away. It's just going to, I'm just going to stop feeling attraction for them. I'm just going to stop thinking about them nonstop. And, you know, hoping they're, they're thinking it's going to expire and it doesn't expire. It actually just grows. This could be a particular masculine who's stubborn, kind of pig headed, is very used to getting their fucking way. They're not going to get their way this time. <laughs> They're not. Because if they had their way, these feelings would go away because it's kind of overwhelming. You know that, it, see, King of Pentacles again and the Emperor bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. See, and all of the kings, they just won't, they're just like, they're just like, fuck. Ah. But they know they have to become the Emperor. They have to rise up to the occasion and, and make that big, bold move. They are the emperor in life. They come up as divine masculine, but you know, they're not fully awakened. None of us ever are. I don't care how fucking awakened you think you are. You're never fully unless you've died and crossed over. Um, but they're pretty cracked open. Not to where the high priestess is. Not by any motherfucking means, honey. She is light years ahead of them in, in that aspect, but I mean, this is, like I told you, it's not a fuck boy. This is not someone who's very irresponsible. You know, I just don't get that vibe from them. They feel responsible. They feel like they're really good with in business or money or whatever this is. Um, but they've tried not to look it in the eye. Because when they've looked it in the eye, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the one. Oh, my God. I've crossed oceans. It's fine. Oh, now it's this whole like this because now the, re the reality is, the muggles got to be the one to sort of bridge the gap. Souls saying, go do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But the muggle is going, well, excuse me? Uh, uh, pardon me? You want me to call them and tell them what? What if they reject me? What if they don't even fucking feel the same way? You're fucking out of your goddamn mind. So it's like this internal battle between 5D and 3D self. But they're the emperor. They're god of war. They're going to do it. And they might just take a real bold leap because that's what emperors do. They just kind of sit there and then boom, it's go time. You know what I'm saying? There's no sort of like, I don't feel like there's a lot of preparation here. M mentally, yes. Mentally. Um, it's all mental. It's all overthinking. It's all imagining, visualizing. But the actual movement, I think they just get up and they go. Just get up and do it. They get up and ask you out. They get up and they just text you. They call you. They they make some sort of move. Heavy Archangel Michael vibes because I can hear the sirens outside. Heavy Archangel Michael vibes. This is heavily protected, but they've got major Archangel Michael vibes themselves. They're a protector by nature. It's why they come up like this. They're going to be very protective of you. I mean, every healer needs a protector. That's what the saying is. 
that's really our match is someone who's very who's who's just by nature a protector all right let's get into this extended if you want to rent it click below this video the word more it's going to bring up all the links click on the first one we'll do it on my website so we can do the sexual cards um that's going to be on my website extended reading special love slash oracle readings follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi i did go live today there as well so you can check out that live and i shall see you in the extended but before i do that thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube love you guys bye